Hey, I wanted to make a uh, another video. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this video, so uh, please watch the entire video before you start commenting. <laughs> I will ask you for that. Um, I first, I'm sure you've read the comment or not the comment, the title, and then you're like, "Well, what's the problem with this and everything?" Um, I don't hate 18 wheelers. I don't hate them. I just have a problem with some things that like the companies make them do, uh, like the, the truck drivers do to get to point A to point B as little time as possible. And of course I can see that as a, in a business standpoint, you want things to be delivered as fast as possible so that you can get your product to the other person as fast as possible so you can get your money and people are happy um, because they have their stuff. Um, I understand that, but there needs to be like some leniency. Uh, so I will get into that in just a bit, but um, yeah, I don't hate truck drivers. I really don't because I understand that we need these truck drivers, these 18 wheeler drivers to deliver our stuff. Um, and they need to use those big trucks to deliver a lot of stuff and just big stuff in general. Um, if we were to do that with very small vehicles, we wouldn't either be able to do a lot of things that we need to deliver or we'd be able to deliver it, but in very small quantities and it'd be just back and forth, back and forth using so much gas. Um, so I'm, I'm not saying that we need to like just shut down the, the, dr the truck drivers. We need to shut them down, shut down the company, shut down everything. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Um, so I, I just want everybody to know that I do understand why we need the things that we need. Um, I'm one of the main truck drivers. So with that out the way, uh, I will say one thing that I absolutely hate that truck drivers do and this is like an actual truck driver fault unless somebody that's been a truck driver can explain to me why they do this um i'm sorry if you can hear my windshield wiper just kind of misty uh but why is it that truck drivers there will be one behind another and the other person gets on the other side and let's say you're late or whatever or um just traffic is really backed up why is that that they will both drive next to each other and just go the same speed at very slow speed i might say and i will i understand that truck drivers have to be at a certain speed uh because of you know you have to <laughs> i mean it's laws um <clears throat> And plus, like, if there's, like, something that happens and you need a break, uh, then, you know, they're slow enough that they can break and the impact either won't happen or it won't be as bad or try to have less impact as possible. Um, so I understand why they need to be at a speed they do, but why do they get at the same speed and just sit next to each other? Is it, like, so they can talk to each other, like, in hand signals? Uh or what but I hate that so much because like I'll be late for something and of course that is also my fault but also truck drivers don't need to be sitting next to each other at going at the same speed and there's traffic there's like so much traffic backed up behind um so I I do absolutely hate that <laughs> unless somebody can explain to me I will always hate that and never understand it uh but uh yeah so I think uh, a really big problem um, that companies do is that they have such a small time frame that they give them to, uh, to deliver whatever it is. Um, they give them just such a small time frame and they're just trying to get there as fast as possible and driving for hours and hours and hours from dusk till dawn with very few brakes, uh, very few gas station brakes, um, unless they absolutely need to get gas, and that's when they'll um, go do what they need to do. But there's, they give them such a small time frame, and so they're exhausted. Because, I mean, 
oh, you think, oh, I'm just sitting here and just driving and not having to really do much. There's a lot you have to do. Um, I have, I've, I've never been a truck driver, um, but I have seen a lot of videos of the life of truck drivers or whatever. Um, so I kind of understand, I have a, a good understanding of their workflow and how their lives are. Um, they don't get to see their family a whole lot and it is sad and uh, so they're exhausted and so that means like the more exhausted they are the less they're able to really pay attention to the road because they're something like like that um, so that puts a lot of other people in danger and maybe they don't see the red light maybe they're just like so exhausted they can't really barely hold up their head and they don't really see the 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 traffic light is red so they'll run through it um and that causes an accident there has been a lot of accidents that i know of in my local areas uh that that's happened like they just ran through the red light um and there have been a ton, way more than there need to be, a ton of deaths or just really serious accidents. Um, people not being able to walk again. Um, and there's been a lot of people that I've known that have died from 18-wheeler accidents. And I almost got hit, I, I get hit, almost hit with, uh, 18 wheelers not a lot but more than i would like to experience um i remember i had to i don't know how i managed to pull this off but i was able to like okay so i almost got t-boned from an 18 wheeler and i'm on the highway and they were just trying to cross over the the highway um and i don't know how i was able to maneuver myself the way that i did but I maneuvered myself to where I almost want like, just like whip myself and uh, to avoid the 18 wheeler from T-boning me. And of course I had the right of way cause there was no like stoplight or anything. Cause it's like just straight on. Um, and then there's the road that has to cross over the, or cross through the highway. Um, but there is a stop sign so he didn't stop i managed to maneuver myself uh to where i just almost got hit but uh i didn't thankfully um but that's just one of the ways or one of the the 18 wheelers that almost hit me uh yeah um but yeah there's been like a lot of accidents and whether it's from corporate or something uh from getting them such a, t a small time frame there needs to be something that needs to be done um of course i don't know exactly what that is but uh there just needs to be something done to where there's less accidents um i don't know i i hope that we figure something out because there's i'm tired of losing the people that I know I really I really am um a lot a lot uh further away from their due date of being in the ground uh so yeah there just needs to be something done maybe give them like a bigger time frame I just be a, a lot more lenient and of course I understand if you give them a, a bigger time frame and they use that they use it to like their advantage be like oh i can use this time frame to, to get more sleep or, or whatever rest um then a lot of our products might dwindle just a little bit we they of course corporate won't get paid as much or paid uh as fast um maybe i, I could be wrong about the, the whole payment thing um but uh you know we won't get our stuff faster and i know that we need our stuff as fast as we can but we need to do it as safe as possible because your 
your package for your new Beats headphones, that can wait a little bit just so that there's no accidents that happen. Um, or at least less accidents that happen. Um, but I've been kind of like rambling on about this video. Uh, like I said, I don't hate 18 wheeler, or, or I don't hate truck drivers. Um, I just don't like the situation that we're in where there's so many accidents and I feel like that there's way more that are happening uh, further and further as we get into the years. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, that's about the end of this video. Uh, I don't hate 18 wheelers.